Hey folks, Peter here. In this video, I'll be reviewing OmniFocus for the web, which is a browser-based version of OmniFocus. Now, OmniFocus for the web has limited functionality, so what I wanna do in this video is see whether this limited functionality is enough for you to be able to make use of OmniFocus when you don't have access to a Mac or to an iOS device. For example, you might use Macs and iOS devices for your personal machines, but then when you get to work, you may be forced to use a PC and you haven't been able to use OmniFocus at work or you've always had to have your, your laptop or your tablet with you or manage your tasks on your phone, but you like to do it on the desktop. So in that case, is OmniFocus for the web right for you? Let's go ahead and see what OmniFocus for the web offers right now. I'm speaking in June of 2019 here and whether it's good enough for you to be able to use it on the desktop and have you, have you be more productive. Now, who am I? My name is Peter Akis. I teach productivity, and in particular, I have a online course. It's called How to Set Up and Use OmniFocus 3 to Get Stuff Done. So if you wanna go check out that course, you can just go ahead and click the link in the video below. And in that video, I will teach you a very simple system for getting more stuff done with OmniFocus. So part of the thing that I'll be doing in this video is taking a look at the features that are available in OmniFocus through the web and seeing if there are enough of the desktop fe features available in the browser-based version of OmniFocus in OmniFocus through the web to be able to use that system that I teach in my online course. So let's get started. Now, I'm looking at OmniFocus through the web here. I'm at web.omnifocus.com. And I'm browsing in Google Chrome because if you're gonna be on Windows, you're probably not gonna have Safari. You're probably gonna be on Google Chrome, right? I have not yet looked at OmniFocus for the web in much detail, so I'm gonna be kind of discovering OmniFocus for the web along with you here. Now, there is a two-week free trial for OmniFocus for the web, so I highly encourage you to go check out that free trial and just uh, test drive it for yourself, but let's, uh, let's take a look here. So the first thing to notice is that uh, we can access a few perspectives. We can access the inbox, the projects perspective, uh, the tags perspective, and the flagged items perspective conspicuously missing is the forecast perspective. Now, I rely very heavily on the forecast perspective. I work out of it all the time. And I also teach how to use the forecast perspective to plan your days and how to work through your tasks in my online course. So unfortunately, the forecast perspective is not available and that immediately is a big minus. But let's go ahead and see what there is here. So we've got the inbox over here. Well, my inbox is currently empty, but we can go ahead and add a task if I click here. Um, test drive OmniFocus for the web. I can go ahead and add a project. Uh, let's see, OmniFocus, boom. And I guess this is a tag. Yes, these are tags. I can add a due date. Oh, there's no defer date here. That's really unfortunate. Um, due to, well, I'm not gonna add a due date. I can add notes, that's nice. And I guess I can add a flag, but I don't really use flags too much. I'm gonna go ahead and click save. Oh, what happened? Oh, it's got it assigned to a project right here. I see. Boom. Okay, so if I click the projects perspective, all my projects show up. And because um, I sell OmniFocus course, I actually have uh, OmniFocus projects uh, right here, which is pretty funny. Um, yeah, but that all seemed to work. You can definitely use OmniFocus through the web to enter tasks, and that was fine. I'm a little bit disappointed that the defer date is not in here because I actually rely on defer dates quite a lot. As I teach in the course, the way that I like to schedule tasks for the future is I use this tag called next and I'll apply that tag to anything that I want to work on next, that I intend to work on next. But what if I don't intend to work on it today, but tomorrow? What I might do is defer that task until tomorrow, but still apply the next tag. Then when I go to my forecast perspective, which again, we don't have here in OmniFocus for the web, what happens is that today I don't see that task, but tomorrow I do. And so that, that task will show up in my today view in the forecast perspective tomorrow, like deferring it until tomorrow and applying that next tag. And I find there's a really handy way to sort of say, I plan to do this task tomorrow or Wednesday or whatever other day, right? Um, so that's really unfortunate that I can't do that right here. And hopefully um, the Omni Group people will add that soon. Now, um, I don't use due dates very often, I well, I use them, but I don't use due dates to signify intent. And this is one of the things that I keep talking about. In fact, I have another video um, that you should go and check out. It's one of the free preview videos of the course as well. Um, so I'll put that in the link uh, in, the, in the description below. Um, 
where I explain why you should not use due dates to signify intent. So let's say you have a task and you think, you know what, I really should do this by Friday. Um, don't add a due date for Friday unless there are consequences, right? So when it's like, well, I must do this by Friday or else this bad consequence will happen. That's when you use a due date, you know, like I got to pay this bill. Um, by Friday, otherwise I'll get a huge penalty or whatever, you know, add a due date. But if it's more like, well, I'd like to get this done by Friday, then don't do that. And then use the defer technique plus adding a next tag like I was just telling you. But unfortunately, that doesn't work in OmniFocus to the web. So that's too bad. But um, that was an aside. Let's keep poking around. Now, I can go ahead and open my projects right here. Business learning. Let's see what's under this project. Oh, I don't have any tasks under this project. Um, Finish setting up my Facebook group. Interesting. So if I open this, okay, boom. So now what I see is I see one. Ta I'm pretty sure there was more than one task here. Let's see. I can get their view options up here. I can see the available first, available or remaining. What happens if I click remaining? Ah, that's more like it. There we go. There we go. I've got four tasks here. You can also see these uh, these tasks. I've applied the next tag. So the tags do show up here. That's nice. Oh, whoops. Um. I guess we can probably use the inspector as well. Let's click on a task. Okay, so we can see the inspector. I'm gonna drag myself out of the way here for a second. Whoops, okay. Um, so we do have the inspector for tasks and, and when we click here, we can add a defer date. So that's nice. I'm a little bit disappointed that we can actually not add a defer date right here, but it is good that we can still add a defer date to a task in the inspector over here. And of course we can add a due date and um, there's no option to repeat tasks. That's really unfortunate as well. So again, OmniFocus for the web so far seems a little bit basic, limited in functionality. Um, world's better than not having any access to OmniFocus at all on Windows, obviously. Um, back in, say, 2015, I was working in corporate and uh, I did not use OmniFocus for my work tasks at the time. Instead, I just got the very simple task list in the list in Outlook. And that worked, but I would have really benefited from OmniFocus. I used OmniFocus for my personal stuff at the time, but didn't use it for my work uh, tasks and projects. And I'm sure I would have gotten a lot more done and felt a lot more in control if I had used OmniFocus. And the reason that I didn't use OmniFocus for work at the time is because at work we used PCs. And so uh, OmniFocus for the web, having had it back then, would have helped me a ton. Sure, you know, it would have been better to have a fully featured OmniFocus for the web, but this already would have helped me a ton. So. I can highly recommend that to you, um, even with the limited functionality we have so far. So we can add nodes. All right, all right. Let's take a look at a project. If I click on a project right here, change the inspector. Okay, so I can go ahead and change the, the project type, sequential, parallel, single action. That all makes sense. I can add tags. Still, again, I cannot add repeating tasks or repeating projects. So that's too bad, um, but understandable. So what is, oh, this adds a new item in the current location, and this is like quick entry, I see. Okay, so that's what I've been using, quick entry. What if I wanna add a task here? Whoa, it's a bit laggy, OmniFocus through the web for me. Um, not ideal, but who knows. Okay, if I, so if I click plus right here, what happens? It takes a little bit of time for the web interface to respond to my input, but um, it's not horrible. Okay, that, that does what it what it wants. Let's see, what if I want to delete this? How do I do this? Backspace, backspace, delete. No, no deleting. How about right clicking? That doesn't work either. Well, how do I delete this task then? Hmm. Well, as you can see, it's not super intuitive. I guess I can mark it as complete, but I don't like to do that. I actually like to delete tasks. So there we go, delete action. Okay, it's not super intuitive, but uh, it's a lot better than nothing so far. I'm gonna drag myself back over to the right because I don't like sitting on the left. All right, there we go. Now, um, of course we can create projects, single action lists, folders, and that stuff. That all makes sense. It's nice to see that in there. Um, let's go over to the tags perspective. You know, I don't use the tags perspective very often. In fact, I almost never use it. Um, you know, I can see my next tags and everything and that's great. But uh, yeah, I don't really use those very often. So, I mean, it's, it's great that it's here, but it doesn't really do much for me. I wish the forecast perspective were here instead. Uh, I can view my flagged items, but again, I don't really use flags. So, um, I don't use the inbox much either. I actually tend to assign projects right away to my tasks. So, what that means is the projects perspective is pretty much the only one that I would end up using if I were to use OmniFocus or the web. Um, so, that's uh, that's unfortunate. But um, there's a lot. there's a lot in here already. Um, I can definitely see, let's say you're 
um, you really love OmniFocus, but you have to use that PC, that Windows machine at work. And um, you know, maybe if you're coming out of your meeting, right? Um, what you do, what you did before, is you actually grab your phone. You started entering the tasks on your phone that you had to do. Now you can actually just go ahead over here to web.omnifocus.com and pop into the inbox and just start adding your tasks here, right? Um, I think they'll probably be slightly more comfortable, even though the interface is a little bit sluggish. Um, but so far, you know, um, the basics are there. I think that um, it's a good first effort from what I can see so far. Um, I wish the forecast perspective were here and I wish repeating tasks were here because that would really make the uh, the feature parity much more, uh, you know, much better. But as a first try, it's not bad. And for the cost, I think it's like $5 a month or something like that. That's really cheap. If you are a professional, if you rely on OmniFocus to get stuff done, um, you should probably be willing to pay $5 a month because you'll probably make that back easily um, by getting more stuff done. So... You know, this is really all there's to OmniFocus for the web right now. Um, there's some other things like, you know, you can click like the sync button. That's not super exciting. Um, you can open the menu and take a look at the keyboard shortcuts. I've actually pulled those up right here. There are some keyboard shortcuts, but very limited. Um, yeah, you can change the view options, collapse the sidebar. I mean, I don't know why you'd want to collapse the sidebar unless you're working on a tiny, tiny screen. Um, you can clean up. I mean, it, it'll do that automatically when you switch perspectives anyway. Um, yeah, so there's actually not that much going on, and, and it looks like we've kind of gone through through everything already. But, um, you know, I would say I'm sure the Omni Group is going to add features over time. And if you are already heavily reliant on OmniFocus, or if you know that you would heavily rely on OmniFocus if you only could access it, for example, at work or on your Windows machines, then I would say at least do the two-week trial, right? The two-week free trial. Go and test drive it and see if it helps you at all. And I'm sure that new features like the project or like the repeating projects and tasks and like that forecast perspective will make it into the web version over time so that it will only become more powerful. So that's my review of OmniFocus for the web. Um, Wish there were more to OmniFocus for the web, but uh, for now, um, it's just very basic, but um, give it a go. And if you are struggling with using OmniFocus, if you've fallen off the OmniFocus wagon, or if you know that I'm using OmniFocus, but I think I could be using it better, right? Then do check out my online course. Again, it's called How to Set Up and Use OmniFocus 3 for maximum productivity. Now for the online course, you do actually need OmniFocus, at least on the Mac or on your iPad. In the course, I show how to do things on the Mac, but you can definitely translate it all to the iPad. But what I mean is using only OmniFocus for the web is not gonna be enough to take the course. Uh, I'm also available to help you one-on-one -on -one with OmniFocus if that's what you like. If you want to do that, just shoot me an email at peter at peterakis.net. So I'll put all the relevant links in the description below this video. And I hope you found this useful. If you did, please give the video a like and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to check out the course. All right, have a nice day.